Hey, good morning. Rise and shine. It's time to get up. Of course, you, you've probably been up, up for a couple hours. I just got back from uh, doing a, a morning, early morning road trip, if you will. <laughs> I had to take Carol down to get picked up by her uh, boss to go into work. You never know how much you appreciate a second vehicle until you don't have one, let me tell you. <laughs> I, we've had second vehicles for years and years, and there were times I had three vehicles. I always had the beater car for when our regular cars would ever break down, if they ever broke down. Now I'm down to two, and the latest one, the Subaru, as you know by my ongoing saga of trying to find a Subaru motor, 2.5 for an automatic. <laughs> ah. I'm still looking. I got a couple sources here. Uh, I'll probably end up buying a used one out of state. Um, a friend of mine sent a uh, link for me to uh, look at on the Subarus that are across the United States. They're guaranteed as Subaru engines, and they're crated up, and it's free shipping. They say, "All right." So I'm looking in upwards of. Uh, Anywhere from twenty-three hundred to maybe thirty-one hundred dollars for a a used motor, and depending on where I get it, uh, what state it comes from, they list how many miles it has on it, uh, what size motor it is, so on and so forth. Uh, my key is to get a two-point-five for a automatic Subaru Legacy. So that's where I'm at. Good morning. Let's put down some coffee. My radio station that I have on in the background today is, who is this? This is, uh, well, it's, it's called Remember With. Bud Wilkinson, I guess, is the artist's name. But uh, this is uh, Bill Withers' radio station. Uh, on iHeartRadio. It's not too bad. I, I try to change it up every morning, listen to different stations, and uh, then I either I like it or I don't, and if I like it, I'll hit favorites. But I come across this one, I figured I'd try it out. Bill, Bill Withers Radio on iHeart. Might want to check it out. Ah, hope you guys had a good night last night. I made a homemade pizza last night. I get the pizza dough from my uh, local grocery store. It comes in a, it's a ball, all right? I forget the name brand of it, but it's frozen when I get it. And uh, you bring it home, you got to let it thaw out. And then uh, you just roll it out like you do a regular pizza dough. And then I get some, uh, a ball of fresh mozzarella cheese. And I make sure that's on my pizza dough. Yeah. I got a, a nice can of uh, uh, pizza sauce, which comes out of New Jersey. And then I get some Italian sausage, put that on the top, hit it lightly with uh, olive oil and Italian seasoning. And then I stick it in the oven, and uh, it comes out. It's pretty darn good for being a, a home pizza. Uh, most of the time, I get my frozen pizzas down at Redner's. Um, they have their store brand, if you want to call it that. And it's not called a Red, Redner's pizza, but it's their store brand. Um, if I remember, I'm going uh, either today or tomorrow. i got to pick up some Redner's uh, generic pizzas. Um, they're two for $10, and they're really good. I'll try to get a nice little snapshot, and I'll send it to you guys. If you're in the area of a, a Redner's food store, look at their uh, uh, frozen pizzas. But uh, I usually get the uh, meat lovers or the Italian sausage mixed with uh, pepperoni, of course. And they're real good. They're paper thin, and I like them. They get nice and crispy. All right, enough of that. Uh, birthdays today. Woody Harrelson. You remember Woody, right? He's, uh, he's either... 57 or 58 today. Happy birthday, Woody. 
and he was on what? What was he on? Um, uh, oh, what was the name of the sitcom? Now I forget it. Um, where they're all sitting in the in the bar and they know each other. Cheers, cheers. He was on that and a couple other sitcoms, I believe. But he's either 57 or 58 today. I don't know if they're not sure or what the story is on where I'm getting my information. Monica Lewinsky. She's 46 today. Happy birthday, Monica. Why have we grown up? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Don Imus from Imus in the Morning. I used to listen to him quite often. I don't even know if he's still on the air or if he's retired. I'm assuming he's, he's probably retired. He's like uh, 79 years young today. Happy birthday, Amos. And then there's uh, various other birthdays uh, from celebrities and that, but I haven't got a clue, as you know, okay? I just like my rock and roll. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, let's see what else we got today. Today is, uh, what, July the 23rd, Tuesday, 2019. And in central Pennsylvania today... It's kind of gloomy. I mean, the, the humidity has dropped. It's very comfortable outside. Uh, when I got in the car early this morning and had to, uh, like I said, take Carol down to uh, get a ride into work, I took Sir Prince with me, and uh, I mean, it's very refreshing outside. I turned my ACs down to almost nothing since the humidity has dropped. Um, I'm even thinking about maybe opening up my windows and turning the AC off altogether for a few hours. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, I never did get my lawn done yesterday because the storms that came in. I probably could have done my lawn early in the morning, but there was still uh, dew on the grass. And I'm sure you guys know, or ladies, you know, if there's dew on the grass... And you go to cut it, it gets all clumped up in that, and it doesn't make for a good lawn cutting experience. <laughs> Let's put down some coffee. Come on. This is my second cup. Good morning. But speaking of today and weather, in Tower City, today, Tuesday, it's uh, the high is going to be about 72. Rain in the forecast. And the low was uh, down around 57. Tomorrow, Wednesday, in southern Pennsylvania, Tower City area, it's supposed to be about 75 degrees, partly sunny. And the low is going to be about 54. Nice sleeping weather. If you guys can crack your windows. Oh. <laughs> and then on Thursday in uh, central Pennsylvania, it's going to be 76 degrees mostly sunny, and the low is going to be 57 degrees. Again, uh, not bad for sleeping, I'm telling you. And in beautiful Cape May, New Jersey, my happy place where I need to be spitting my ones and twos, the Jersey Shore. On, uh, well, today, Tuesday, in Cape May, it's going to be 72 degrees. Rain is in the for forecast for today, and the low today was 67. Tomorrow, in Cape May, New Jersey, it's going to be 81, partly cloudy, and the low is going to be about 59. Again, not a bad day for sleeping, you know, nice sleeping weather. 59 degrees in Cape May, New Jersey, Cape May Courthouse, mm, not bad. And then on Thursday... It's going to be 83 degrees for a high. It's going to be a sunny, beautiful day, so they say. And the low is going to be 73. So that's an ant eh for sleeping. But there's your three-day forecast for beautiful Tower City, Central Pennsylvania, and beautiful Cape May, New Jersey, Cape May Courthouse. If you're in that neck of the woods, there's your forecast. And remember, it's always subject to change. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's put down some caffeine. I need some. Here we go. For lunch today, I think I'm going to make some uh, fried green tomatoes. 
I have that and I, I have a couple fresh ears of corn here that uh, have to be eaten up. So uh, I think I'm going to have a veggie lunch today. Me and Sir Prince. And of course Sir Prince is going to I'll put, plate that up and put it down for him and he'll maybe take one little bite of the fried green tomato and he'll look up, up at me and he'll go like, what the hell do you think you're doing, old man? I don't eat this stuff. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. That's all I got, folks. Let me know what it's like in your neck of the woods. I hope you have a great day today. I uh, hope things are going well for you. Keep on smiling and never go backwards. Always go forward. Remember that. Love your family and your kids, your neighbors, your grandkids, your sons, your daughters, your co-workers. Let them know that you appreciate them because we are not guaranteed tomorrow. Don't forget that. Isn't that right, Barbie? <laughs> what else do I have? I, I think that's about it. Um, oh, when I was down at my uh, my granddaughter's graduation party on uh, Saturday, I gave her some of my vinyl, my 12-inch my, uh, club mixes. I gave her some... Uh, uh, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, all that stuff. Uh, if you know anything about my granddaughter, she's uh, her career is going to be a dancer, and she's fabulous. You can look her up sometime. Uh, Dancing Kaylee, she's on uh, Insta Instagram, I believe it's called. Uh, she posts a lot of videos and that. Uh, she's been doing this since a very, very young little girl. I want to say three, four, five years old. I'm not quite sure, but uh, she's she just graduated uh, high school, and uh, she's been doing this dancing thing for a lot of years. Training, she's won numerous kinds of uh, medals and 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 whatnot. She's traveled down to uh, Las Vegas um, to be in competitions. <coughs> yes, I'm bragging on my my granddaughter, but what I'm getting at is. When I was at her graduation party, I got her these 12-inch uh, uh, club mixes, and I bought her a turntable. She has no clue. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the turntable, it, uh, it was delivered yesterday. And, of course, my daughter, Tina, she's got to try, try to hook this thing up because, honestly, I don't think Tina ever had a turntable. I, I don't remember. Uh, I'll have to do some research on that. But uh, that'll be a, a nice new experience for her. And I told Kaylee, I said, look it, on these 12-inch vinyls, uh, you guys or ladies that are, you know, DJs or, or remember when, when vinyl was available, you could get the 12-inch single. It would either play 33 and a third or it was possibly a 45 on a big 12-inch uh, single. And uh, uh, there were various cuts depending on... Uh, whatever the song was by the artist, uh, the front side would be like the radio edit, then it would have the, the club edit, which was longer, all right? And then uh, what, what was uh, the remix w was also on there. And then on the flip side, in most cases, was like an instrumental of that particular song or a cappella with no music in it. So And I let her know that. I said, you know what you can do? You can uh, choreograph your dancing now to some of these instrumentals. So that kind of perked her up a little bit. And, uh, and she's a big Michael Jackson fan. So like I said, I got her some Michael Jackson, a couple of my uh, selected uh, albums, and I showed her how to properly pull them out of the uh, cover, the sleeve, how not to get your fingerprints on the vinyl, and how to properly clean the vinyl so and I told her I'm going to stop by in a few months and I want to look at those albums I want to see if they're still spotless because I pulled them out for her and I showed her mine I flipped it back and forth there were no smudges on them but then again that's just me all right folks that's my story for today have a great day today gonna put it down one more time and then uh you guys going uh start your day doing your, your work or whatever you're doing. Thanks for uh, having me in your house or in your uh, uh, office there, enjoying your cup of coffee or in your uh, camper or motor home, just easing into your day.
Cheers, Nostrovia. I'll talk to you guys later on. Uh, hit that like button if you would. Uh, and then uh, also hit that bell and the subscribe button. That way you'll always know when I'm making a, uh, when I do a video. If you hit that bell twice, you'll be nudged. Okay? And if you uh, need any information on me, go to either Google or Bing and just punch in Ralph, R-A-L-P-H, Warzy. W-A-R-Z-Y, and there's all kind of propaganda on myself, what I've done in the past, what I'm doing now, uh, if I'm playing close by, if it's an open dance party, or and if it's a, a private dance party. Most of the time, I don't put my private dance parties on there uh, just because of the privacy of my clients. But All right, I'll talk to you guys later on. God bless you. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you later. And uh, have a great day, all right? Keep on smiling. Going to punch you out in three. See you later. Be good now. One, two. Here we go, Barbie. Big smile.